What's up? Danny High Soccer here with Call Winning, helping people do their business better. And today we're going to take a look at three video bars by Poly, Video360, and Logitech. You have three video bars that include the camera, speakers, and microphone. There's only two cables, power and USB, which makes them incredibly easy to set up. And then they work across all major video collaboration platforms to include Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Cisco WebEx, and the list goes on and on. Price-wise, they all vary in pricing, but they're all right in that same range. So let's start with the Poly Studio at the top of the uh, pricing range. Uh, they come in at an MSRP of $949. Then you have the Logitech Meetup that has an MSRP of $899. Dollars and ninety-nine cents. Video Trident AI with an MSRP of eight hundred and forty-nine dollars. You can reach out to your authorized partners, and I'm sure you could work out some sort of deal, especially if you're doing a mass deployment. So if you need large quantities of these, all of these partners here will work to get you uh, a better price. But what we're going to do in this video is just do a quick demonstration of the auto tracking feature, because uh, all of these have it. They're designed more for huddle spaces, so for like four. Uh, a space that holds four to six people. We're gonna, I'm gonna go around over that way and then come back over this way to see how well the studio tracks me and then the meetup and then the, uh, the Trident. So stay tuned. So first up we have the Poly Studio uh, and I have it set up as fast tracking. So you do need to download the Polycom Companion app um, to access uh, this Poly Studio and, and do all the updates and, and make all the adjustments uh, that are available through Polycom. Uh, companion app but anyway so I set it to fast tracking so I'm gonna move on over and again this is way larger of a space that these are designed for but you can see it's still tracking me and following me so it's pretty slip and cool there's, there's a setting within the poly companion app that allows you to set it for group framing uh, I set it for Speaker frame, and this is doing a really great job, actually. It's doing a really good job. I like the way that this is, I like what it's doing. That's a quick demonstration of the Poly Studio auto framing, and let's go over to the Logitech Meetup next. Stay tuned. All right, so now we have the Logitech Meetup uh, set up, and, and I do want to point out that we do have them set at the same exact spot, so the Poly Studio the Logitech Meetup and the uh, Video360 Trident AI will all be in the same exact uh, position and location, uh, to be fair, right? And uh, for the Poly Studio and as well as the Logitech Meetup, I have had to sit here and update uh, firmware uh, to get them uh, to work. Of course, I also got a new laptop, so I had to download some stuff that I thought I already had downloaded. But anyway, uh, so that does take some time and, and be aware of that. Um, so far, the Trident, I haven't had to do uh, anything with it. I just plugged it in and, and it just started working. Uh, but anyway, so I have the Logitech Meetup set up to right site on uh, dynamic. So it's going to auto frame. Let's, I'm going to move over here and see if it follows me. Um, so there's the Meetup. So I'm out of frame now. So I don't know if it has found me or not. I'm back over here on the other side. Uh, it still has located me. Hey, Meetup, I'm over here. There it goes. It's looking, it's looking, it's looking. It has found me. And now it's auto framing. And you can see it, it does it fairly slowly, but again, per Logitech, that's by design. Uh, they do that to not make uh, people, uh, I guess, they don't want to trigger anybody. Um, and so there it is. A demonstration of the Logitech right site uh, set to dynamic via the Logitech Sync software app. Oh, look, and that's framed even closer. Uh, anyway, let's get over to the uh, Video360 Trident uh, AI. All right, so now we have the Video360 uh, Trident AI, and unlike all the others, I just plugged it in and it didn't do anything. I literally just plugged it in. And one of the other things that I noticed is that I didn't have to select it as an audio or uh, as an audio source. It just automatically selected it in the sound setting. Uh, but let's get up and let's see it follow me around. So you see it's following me around. And again, all these, 
heat mess unit designed for smaller spaces, not for these big, massive rooms. Um, they're designed for small huddle rooms. And so you see that it's following me around and it's done a pretty good job. So first up, we have the Poly Studio. All right, so now we have the Logitech Meetup. All right, so now we have the Video 360. Move on over. And again, this is way larger of a space. I'm gonna move over here and see if it follows me. Um, so you see it's following me around. And again, all these, I keep mentioning it, designed for smaller spaces, not for these big, massive rooms. Uh, but again, here's a quick demonstration of the auto tracking, auto framing, all in one video bars by Poly, Logitech, and now Video360. Tell us what you think. Let's go over to the Logitech Studio next. Logitech or Studio. <laughs> it's the Logitech. Take 14. <laughs>